Who thinks they messed it up a whole lot? Me. A lot of you did. And that's okay. So we're going to go over a little bit of details here. In this video, you're going to learn how to master your footwork with attention to detail. My name is Coach Nick Alduro, and if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and also leave a comment asking any questions that you might have, or let us know about a video that you would like to see. If you're looking for extra help, check out the link in the very first comment, and also the links in the, in the description for a free workout. All right, let's get to the video. Start by your circle. Relax dribbles, you get into your drop, the ball goes to your what? Pocket. Pocket. Wide stance or skinny stance? Wide. Wide. So you've got to make sure you hit your dots here. Now watch, this is, this is how you, this, it's going to be actual skip. So this is your dribble step. Now I didn't tell you this part because I wanted to see if you could figure it out. Th that's your dribble step. Now right from there, this foot isn't going to touch the ground until right there. So it's a dribble step. Now you're skipping right into that. Now it's the same thing here. Dribble step, you're going to skip, now land here, and then it's right, left. So what's that in-between action called? Skip. It's a skip. So the skip is when you take your dribble step, and now you're not letting this foot come down until your new set of footwork. So don't forget to skip into your next set. Ready? Go. It's okay. You'll get it. You're just taking some extra dribbles. Nice. Good, there you go. So start, yeah, start on the mat. Good. Right, left, behind. There you go. Good. Good. Hey, pretty good. Now come here. When you come, when you come to this behind the back, it's gonna be right foot, left foot. You're doing this. Right, hop forward. Okay, so after this foot, after this step on two, you're not going forward anymore. It's two and then behind. Does that make sense? Let's see it. That was good. I like the way you slowed down. And stop, bring it in. Right here. Now let's talk about the timing of your dribble. This is called what, anybody remember? Dribble step. Dribble step timing. So a lot of you are doing this because you're, you're kind of trying to go slow in your mind and that's okay. Guess what, if you're gonna go slow, you're actually better off going a little bit faster, but putting the ball down. So then you can just focus on your feet. It's much easier. Don't be, don't be embarrassed by putting a, the ball down. NBA players do that, where they're just focused on their footwork. I've seen Kobe Bryant do that in clips on YouTube, where he was just working on his footwork and he actually put the ball down. Okay, so some of you need to put the ball down and just focus on your footwork. When this ball hits, the ball goes right before that step. Some of you are stepping, and then dribbling. It's very awkward, okay? You're not moving efficiently. So your dribble step happens, if I'm going this way, your dribble step happens right before that inside foot. Inside foot is opposite from the ball. So right before that foot hits, bang. Now, what is this part called? A s no? Skip, so I take my dribble step. Now I'm skipping into this. By the way, when I'm in my drop, do I wanna be like this or on the side? Be on the side, because this, this way, you're, you're committed no matter what, like you're going. If I go here, I can always shift and go back. So, but the main focus is we're talking about is that what? Dribble step timing. timing. So let's do this real quick. Take the ball in your right hand, put your left foot back real quick. What I, when I say go, you're gonna take a step. This is all you're gonna do. You're gonna take a step and just, you're gonna concentrate on making sure that ball hits right before your foot hits the ground. So it's gonna look like this. Ready, go. Okay, go back. Ready, right hand, left foot, pick your left foot, put it back. Okay, so it's opposite. You're in step forward. Ready, go. Who thinks they had the timing right? Okay, now, put the ball in your left hand. 
put your right foot back. Ready? Same thing. Right foot's going to move forward. When does the ball hit? Right before the foot. But we don't want to go too soon. It's got to be right before the foot. Ready? Go. Good. Go back to your mat. Let's go. You skip to your split through. Now right here, you took your step. And instead of dropping and letting the ball come to your pocket, you took that dribble and then you took another dribble. Okay, does that make sense? Everything else is perfect. Come over here so you don't get hit. When you're, do when you're doing your drop, you're, you're dropping like this. Your drop should, meet, should look like, like if, I'm, if I'm facing the defender, you shouldn't know which way I'm going. So you should drop with your sternum still facing them. And the weight here, you're doing this. I'm definitely going there, right? So think, I could go anywhere. Where, do we, have we talked about that before? Hey, perfect, perfect. You're gonna demonstrate for me, all right? Hey, bring it in. Baseline. Caden's gonna demonstrate for us. And then Isaac, you're next. All right, so here's what I want you to look for. I, right now, I want you to look for the timing of his dribbles. See if his timing is right before that foot. That's the first thing I want you to look for. Go ahead. What'd you think of his timing? Who wants to raise their hand and talk about it? Haley, what'd you think of it? I think it was good. It was very good. And he moved so efficiently, okay? Go again. Now what I want you to look for is, does he hit his dots? Meaning, is he wide enough? So is he yellow, gray here? Is he blue, red there? And is he blue, red there again? Ready? Does he hit his dots? Very good. What does being wide create? Space. Driving angles. If I'm wide, now it gives me an angle to swing this foot around, and now I can go right by them as opposed to just doing this and stepping this way. So it gives you an angle to a straighter line. Hey, give him two claps. Isaac, you're up. So before you go, at this last mat, is it right, left, stop, or is it right, hop, stop? Which one is it? Right, left, it's right, left, stop. So you had a, you had a, slight, a slight hop, okay? Go ahead. Perfect. Do you feel the difference there with your stop? So now what I want you to focus on is two things actually. Width, and then when you get there, come to a complete stop without hopping forward. Go. Coach, can you come over here so you can see my feet? When you do your drop, like, like let's say I'm playing this way, right? Pretend the ba it's basket, basket. When you do your drop, do you want to have your toes facing automatically where you're going, or do you want to have them kind of like a neutral position? Neutral position. R why? Because I don't want the defense to what? We don't want them to know where you're going. Exactly. If I do this, Kelsey, which way am I definitely going? This, way. this is what a lot of you are doing because you know you're going that way. So if I'm going this way, and I have a defender here, when I get my, into my drop, I want this to look the same as if whether I'm going to cross or I'm going to go. But if I do this, I'm definitely there. So when you drop, have your sternum, everybody poke, poke your sternum, it's that, that chest bone right underneath here. Your sternum's gonna be facing forward. You're gonna have the weight where, on the outside or inside? Yeah, notice I can shift. Then I want you to decide to go. Same thing here, boom. Then you decide to go. But don't decide until the very last second because you don't wanna give it away which direction you're what, you're, you're going. We're gonna do this for another two minutes, so I want you to feel that. So that's the focus now. Don't let the defense know until the very end. Don't do this. Hey guys, I'm going that way. Don't do that. Ready? Go. Play. Go. 
Hey, thank you so much for watching. My name is Coach Nick Alduro. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and leave a comment of any questions that you might have. If you're looking for extra help, check out the link in the first comment or the links in the description. All right, we will see you next video.